guys, welcome back to Stuck on Our Island where we stuck together and we always smiling, right? But um, today is day day four of Vlogmas. Um, so last night was like pretty eventful. Like um, what happened was I was like about 12 o'clock I jumped in the car. I was like, yo, Judah. I didn't even send him to it. I was going to kind of start. I just laid on. I had on an engine. This is some radio. And I fell asleep. And then I think she called me maybe at like one o'clock and she's like she's like babe you okay and i'm like I'm like yeah i'm good i'm just you know sleeping and i got back up at maybe like two o'clock i woke up back at two o'clock i'm like god damn and i was like yo like two to th or some minutes to three and i'm like yo when are they because i couldn't sit them anymore and they're like yo there's someone else and whatever i was like yo i'm going home to get some sleep but anyway what i did i got uh, i went home got some sleep then she came over and i dropped her home and that was pretty much the end of tonight but yeah, I woke up and stuff. Well, that's a lie. Yeah, I dropped her home maybe at like six o'clock and then I got, I was stuck in traffic. Yo, guys, Portmore traffic is shit. Like, it's horrible. I travel up on the road in time there. But I got home and I got some breakfast. You know, what I did? I fell asleep. I fell asleep because I didn't have any work in the morning. And then, yeah, just now, just to update you guys, I know I'm just talking because I'm trying to put out vlogs for Blockbiz. I went to the hardware, I didn't want to take you guys because of course um, I don't like showing the same thing like constantly so I didn't take you guys to the hardware but I, I didn't even get everything that I wanted anyway so the meat of the matter is this I just stopped by Sugar and Sprite so I know a lot of people like on the vlogs they go yo Juicy Beef is the ish although Mika which is Judah's sister she was like yo Juicy Beef tastes like cardboard I know but like yeah you got sugar and spice, and I like their patties. As a matter of fact, I like all of the patties that there are. For me, I pretty much consider myself to be a rounded individual, so generally I like juicy patties, but like of late, I'm like a tasty fan. But then um, sometimes too, I like sugar and spice, so each of them have their own like, flavor. But anyway, I got back in and I had some work to do, but my internet is acting crazy, so I can't really work. But it kind of works out for me because I kind of wanted to. You know, I have a lot of things on my to do list, like it's so hard being an adult it's cool being an adult but like there's so many things and you know it just comes to a thought in my head which is like yo in life you need a partner like everybody needs like a partner like that person who you can depend on to like just do stuff you know like to help you out whether it's like emotionally sometimes isn't it or help you you know handle stuff you know but like i have so many things to do like tomorrow i'm, I'm probably going to take you guys to change my car tire or something like that because on the blue car the tire got punctured and crap oh, i'm easily stressed <laughs> to be quite honest so i have that to do um i'm today i'm gonna pretty much be showing you probably not really showing you but i have to like create something for my tripod because what's happening when i'm trying to make my videos for my um for my main channel is like for my other camera it doesn't drop down so like i need to create something you know be ingenious and make something to allow my tripod to give it access so i can see the screen so that's those are some muscles that i have to do because i really kind of want to work on more main channel videos you know more how to's and stuff like that so is it me that's gonna be me right now i'm gonna enjoy this party right now all those who can't have no cardboard party mika <laughs> mm. i eat you know cardboard uh-oh do i have crumbs in my mouth I'm sorry. I'm not sure you probably wanted some of that crispy, golden, buttery, flaky crust. Mm. But that brings me to a note, like a topic. Like that was kind of it's kind of really so sad because like you know, I always make jokes with like my subscribers about um you know my Islanders about you know golden crust because I remember when I went to um. And when I go to New York, normally if my, when my cousin wants Patty, I'd bring it up. When I go to New York, my aunt would be like, Oh, Steve-o, like, we gotta have some Golden Cross. Oh my God, it's so amazing. You know, and she gets all excited about it. And, you know, I watch one of my friend's vlogs, um, Dope Chick. Um, she goes to Golden Cross. And I always make jokes about it, you know, ah, knock off Patty. But it's so sad, though, in retrospect, because the owner of, you know, this establishment, you know, unfortunately committed suicide and you know no no longer is no more and he's one of those jamaicans that we could you know we could really look up to in the sense that um 
you know, you go foreign, like literally go foreign and look better for life or whatever, and you actually make something out of life, you get my say. And there are persons who become connected, connected to the country, you know, with something like that. So it's just so, it's just so tragic. But it just goes to another point that sometimes you actually look at other people and you go like, yeah man, everything shattered in them life, yeah man, everything good, and really and truly, you don't freaking know, you get my say. Like you don't really know like what's happening in people's lives and you know this even goes because a lot of you guys are overseas who watch my vlogs and stuff and we know someone over there so really are all it you get my say no for no like as soon as in the call back at yard we kind of you know get some connection to what's happening back home the first thing they might ask you for some money you get my say I know that kind of rough a certain way and that's why most of them actually come here you know watch the vlogs and you know feel in tune with Jamaica like honestly when I started doing the vlogging like I never thought this would have been like the outcome like persons that I feel connected to Jamaica through myself but you know it's pretty awesome but is it me for those of you who over there some hope golden cross not locked down because that would have been like really really sad but go on what it's saying is it me while I eat this party when you hear the crust of the, the bag you just get excited now yeah sometimes some stuff in my head that I wanted to say and I forget in the other vlogs so I'm gonna take the opportunity to say some of them. Yo, big up to the people who like the videos from Charlene, Canadian Mom, Mika, Izimi, um, who else? Charlene, like, oh my god, so many people. Dan La, who comment every now and again. All of the people, big up on the set, big up people who actually like the videos. I've been seeing where the videos, the video liking have been, has been going up like a lot more and big man team respect that because the channel that grow it might not be growing like rapidly but me see it grow and the biggest of the biggest of the biggest of the people who actually watch the ads them like some people will see an ad and be like when I watch the ad sometimes the ad them really entertaining and people like don't really watch them this is how your favorite YouTuber actually gets to grow you get me gets to even improve in them craft and trade because there's some video ideas as that I would want to do but I can't do it because for me right now I'm more focusing on at least giving you guys vlogs giving you vlogs to actually watch you get me I say and to kind of entertain you guys at the same time because big man thing for those of who know me like me I work like 70 hours per week you get me I say so when you see a vlog drop you don't know so the vlog drop for a reason so big up the people who actually watch it and for me personally I'm not that I'm not gonna be that kind of youtuber where if I make it to a level where I not go give back to you guys and that's something I have to mention I'm not going to say anything official right now but I'm working on something that I'm gonna give back to you YouTube to my subscribers um I'm gonna split it in two halves um local I have an idea what I want to do for the local people who actually watch it here and also for the persons who watch it overseas I have some I have an idea you know I've been talking to Judah about it you know what I plan to do and yeah so that's something that we're definitely going to be um working on so yeah big up on yourself the people who support me like hardcore and always a comment and i say something and i hit me up on snapchat big up on that damn self trust me so guys i got a glass of milk here you know what goes good with milk <laughs> Okay, that just ruined my shot, but this thing here, god damn. You know which part is my favorite part of this thing? Mm-hmm, right here, in the middle. <laughs> but there's how I watch Pop Off Girls, and she'll fight the Mats Monster. You know, so the Mats Monster that eat me though. Shout out to all the people who have one in the Mats. <laughs> Big up Mats a little bit. Shout Guys, I realize eh? I like me that I tell, I don't have one in the Mats. It's actually a two, but rain or fall, rain or fall, I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Get away, nigga. No! Oh, God. Get away, nigga. No! Curse you! <laughs> Mission success, guys. But here's the beautiful thing about trees, guys. Like, I'm under here, and I'm not really getting wet. So, it does have a thing you can pre with life sometimes. Like, I'm kind of really upset with them trees, yeah? Because, of course, they block the sunlight from my line. But, they block the rain. <laughs> oh, and for all of you guys who say, Oh, I want a puppy. Put back that in here. Shoes, them take off. The Dunziver shoes, well, it's a Imani Dunziver shoes from the vlog. Them take away. 
them fine towel them fine everything no they're they're perfect these organizers latte latte hey hey number one this organizer you two and you two which which brings it back to another thing like personally like me and my dogs have been like having a better relationship because what persons don't understand like we have a dog especially puppy you have to you have to be stern with them you know it's not it's not every day you're gonna be like oh cute puppy or whatever you have to be stern with them for them to actually understand your lifestyle and understand how you live because when i first had them they would pretty much like pull off all of the clothes them off the line and go on the bag of things you get me i say but i have to reprimand them you understand me them know say i don't really saw it go you understand and them understand so it's a good way if you just live with the animals them um in the initial stages it's kind of hard but eventually they they catch on to stuff right right yeah she was the number one pooper she, like she pooped everywhere and she didn't like to poo on the grass it has to be concrete so i had big problems with her and as you can see my car isn't even covered because she ate my car cover yep that's you <laughs> they're so cute i want a puppy 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 hey you're a star they love you they love you look into the camera baby look into the camera look into the camera oh you love kisses come give me a hug want a hug hugs hugs and kisses huh huh oh yeah you like that huh mm. <laughs> you know I like it right under my neck. <laughs> Scratch my neck, you filthy, you filthy bastard. Ugh, under my neck. <laughs> Not that I'm back inside to my food. Am I the only person who feels that when they walk away from the food and them come back, somebody eats some of it, or some dopey taste some of the food? Something missing. I forgot to look back on the video and play it back and see how much it gone for real. So I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do today. I'm about to start editing these. So I already chopped these vlogs up so I'm just going to drop some, you know, some small stuff on it really quick and then I'll be done doing that. But I'm just going to show you the problem that I was having with the tripod. But I'm still having the tripod to give you guys an idea. And then I'll just do that real quick and then maybe that'll be the end of the vlog because I don't really have much to do today to kind of show you guys, but yeah. So here's the problem that I'm having with this um, with this tripod and the camera. For this particular camera, this is supposed to come out and flip downwards. So whenever I'm shooting shooting a video, I could actually look down and see myself or see if you know my face is showing or whatever. And as you guys know, we're doing the Q&A, so the Q&A is going to be out. It's gonna be out like really soon, you see me? So, um, we're in what the fourth, so it's gonna be out like the eighth or the, the seventh, whatever that weekend. So, I need to be able to see, you know, Julian myself when I'm doing that. And these are the small problems that kind of make it even more of a shooter video. So, what I'm planning to do is to find a way how to project this outwards so that this part can actually flip downwards. You get me? I say, so that's my problem. I'm just showing you guys a quick behind the scenes, you know, I don't have nothing really doing um, of how, you know, YouTube or how these YouTubers actually get their stuff done, you see me? So I'm using Premiere Pro, um, I just edited the video, probably takes me like an hour or so to edit a video, it depends on my vibe. Um, then I have to process the video, which this one's going to take about an hour to complete and this is only 18 minutes of footage, so it takes about that time and then Jamaican with Jamaica with the crazy internet service is going to take maybe about another mm, like two hours three hours i have to leave my videos overnight to actually get done updating so that's pretty much some of the time that it actually takes it's a bit time consuming but you know in editing the video it's a little bit fun especially when i get you guys reactions to the videos and you guys enjoy it thanks guys all right as you guys can see now I kind of extended it out. I mean, it's not the most perfect thing, but it's functional. So now I can actually move this screen down and I can see myself, you know, so we can do the Q&A quite comfortably. Um, still needs a little bit more adjustments because as you see, like, this isn't folded down as flush as I would want it to. So I have to adjust that a little bit and maybe straighten this out a little bit and then we should be good. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, you see, I have to use like this matches box because it was 
leaning down a little bit too much for my liking so now it's a little bit more level so I like that I was really intending to use like a PVC which would have been like a more firm a more firmer structure but that's gonna take a little bit too long to build this was a lot, a lot more easier for me to construct really quick and I solved like this problem here so, you know it can actually flip all the way down so I'm happy all right and that pretty much solves one of my big problems that I was having for a while now that's fixed so now I can feel more comfortably shooting like my main channel videos and yeah um, I think I might work on a stand really quick but this is where I'm gonna pretty much wrap up this vlog um, this is vlogmas day four but it's my second vlog in vlogmas because it's December 4th but guys thank you for being here with my boring day thank you for following me around and remember these three things love nature adaptation and always remember to keep the link and if you love the video Click that like button and hit the subscribe. Love you guys. Bye. All I am is a man.